The human sexual responses. In general, the process goes something like this. Excitement begins the process. This is sexual arousal. It's the result of a parasympathetic impulse. Plateau is the major part of the human sexual response. It is intense, continuing arousal. And then the culmination of the human sexual response would be orgasm. This is the peak of the sexual arousal. Thereafter, resolution takes place. This is the abatement of sexual arousal where erection goes away, uh, heart rate, breathing rate return to normal. The male sexual response begins with erection. This is caused by vasodilation of the arteries. Lots of blood is beginning to flow into the penis and that compresses the arteries, I'm sorry, the veins leaving the penis and as a result, the penis becomes erect. So venal compression as a result of increased blood flow into the penis takes place. <clears throat> Orgasm is the culmination of this experience. That is followed with ejaculation or the release of sperm into the female reproductive tract. So ejaculation is the expulsion of semen. There's about a teaspoon volume during a male ejaculation. However, this is variable depending on the number of ejaculations that a man has had. And there's somewhere in the ballpark of 50 to 300 million sperm, um, but you'll read some texts that say it can be actually up to about 500 million sperm per teaspoon. The female sexual response begins with clitoral erection, breast and nipple engorgement, so you have increased blood flow to both the clitoris and the breasts. Orgasm, of course, takes place at the culmination of this experience. This causes involuntary muscle contraction in the female vagina in order to pull sperm up closer towards the cervix.